Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. In today's video, I'll show you how to move your photos from one hard drive to another in On One Photo Raw and keep your metadata, keep your editing adjustments. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video on sidecar files, I posted that earlier this week. Check the show notes below or there should be a button on YouTube popping up right now, right, right around here, that you can go and check that video. You'll want to understand how sidecar files work because that becomes important. Now, uh, there's two different ways that you can move your photos for uh, for on one and one of them is right in on one itself so here i have photos on my desktop those are part of my macintosh hard drive and i have an external hard drive connected here as well let me just pick this one photo here and i'll drag this over to the new hard drive that'll move over and in a moment it applies all of the changes hey wonderful great the photos now on my external hard drive all of my edits are there my metadata is there. Now the catch is sidecar files. Now I'm on this computer and I have that external hard drive where on one tracks information about your metadata and your edits is in one or two places. You know, it's either always inside a catalog that is an internal database to on one and that's physically on this computer right here that I'm working on. And the other option are these sidecar files where the photos information is stored in a small tiny file next to your RAW. So let me uh, set up the screen here a little bit differently so I can show you under the covers what's going on next to your photos with these sidecar files and how that becomes important when you move photos to an external drive. All right, so back to this folder on my desktop, which is on my internal drive in my computer. I have these two photos here. I have this sidecar options turned on. So I have these additional data files that are hidden in browse. We do not see them in browse, but they are out at the finder or explorer level. And these contain all the information about my metadata and my editing adjustments. Now when I moved this photo to that new hard drive on the file system right out in finder explorer there's my original raw no changes and on one took care of putting those sidecar files for me there so the safest method for moving photos to an external drive is to do it within on one and you get these sidecar files make sure you turn on that option what does that mean it means i can take that external hard drive disconnected from this computer, you'll connect it to a laptop, a new machine if you're upgrading, what have you, and all of your edits and metadata are in these sidecar files. You fire up on one on the new machine and you will see the same edits, the same metadata. All of your information is there. So the, uh, the notion of that internal database that's only on the computer I have the application installed on, uh, it's, it's okay, the information's still there, but you can have the data follow your photos. That's really a good way to work, if, especially if you're, if you're mobile, if you're editing on different machines and you need to consolidate things onto an external hard drive that may move around, turn on these sidecar files and get these things. Now, if you wanted to do this move outside of On1, you definitely want the sidecar files. So back to at the finder level, if I went up a level and said, I'm gonna take this photos album, and I'm going to take the entire thing and drag it over onto this new hard drive. Let me get in there. I'll drop it here. Okay. I'll go over into on one. We will see a new photos folder show up. I can go in there and I get it a moment. I see my previews there. If I go in there, I see all my sidecar files. I did that outside of on one, did that move outside because I had the sidecar files. I keep the edits, I keep the metadata. So I'm going to keep beating that drum. Sidecar files are very, very useful. They're very small too. They're not large. These are, you know, kilobytes in size. So they're not taking up a lot of hard disk space at all. So that's how you can move photos around to different hard drives and keep your edits. Sidecar files are key. Make sure you turn those on. If you don't have it turned on and you move photos around, all you're doing is moving the raw photos and you're not getting those edits to follow. That's okay if you're on a single computer, but as soon as you take that external drive and put it in a different machine, you don't have the sidecar files, you will not see those edits. They're not lost, they're still on your old machine. 
anyway, turn on the sidecar files and go watch that other video where I talk about when you enable it, what do you need to do to generate those sidecar files for all of the photos in your library. Hope you found this useful. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.